Hey guys, and welcome back to Nightmare Plays Minecraft. And today I've got a bit of a different video uh, for you, uh, recorded in a bit of a different way. I'm recording the audio on my computer, and what you're seeing on screen is a screen capture from Tropico's computer. And what I'm going to go through today is um, <clears throat> I've started using the 5 Sig mod on Banter UHC and a few other servers to help with. Being able to see potion effects and the armor hood and stuff like that. So the first thing you have to do is you have to download what you can see in that 5 Zig mod folder, which is uh, Forge, uh, Forge, Optifine, and the 5 Zig mod, all for 1.8.9. There'll be download links for all of them in the description. So the first thing we do is we install Forge. And we double click, when it loads up, we install the client into the Minecraft folder. That's very important, make sure it goes into your Minecraft folder. And it shouldn't take too long to download, I don't think. It's doing it pretty quickly. Okay, and it will say successfully install client, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so click OK on that. Uh, then we need to go into our Minecraft folder, which is, for those of you who don't know, uh, we click there and we go percent app data percent and then click enter and you're there and then you want the dot minecraft folder at the top and then in here you want to create a new folder and call it mods very simply m-o-d-s and click enter uh, then we want to go back to our original folder where we had the optifine and 5 sig mod and we want to copy them into the mods folder that we just created. Okay, and that's all for the for that bit. So you download them, you stick them in your mods folder, and then we begin the fun part, and we open up Minecraft. So then when you see here, where it says profiles on the bottom left, you'll see, if you've got Optifine installed, you'll see Optifine. If not, you'll see your name. But then you'll see a new profile called Forge. And then we want to click play. And then it will download some stuff. And hopefully it'll open. There we go, it's opening. And as you can see, it's inst uh, loading and initializing the mods we have installed. There we go. Welcome to the 5 Zig mod. Blah, 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 blah. Just click start now. Okay. So then what we want to do is we want to edit our options so we go into our options menu and first thing you'll notice is that you can now up your uh field of view beyond quake pro now i personally don't recommend this um because it, it it can be a bit of a douche so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new world so we can see how the 5 sig mod looks. We're going to allow the cheats on for this purpose and create new world. So while that loads in. Bum -ba -da -bum, downloading the terrain. Hurry up and give me a new world. Yeah, man. There we are. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is go into our options and click on the 5 Zig mod. I'm not sure why it reset that then. So click on the 5 Zig mod. Okay, and the first thing we'll do is we will go into the display options, which is below mod scale, first one down the right. And what you can do here is you can select uh, how you want your brackets to look. Now, I personally have the dash, but if you click where it says formatting brackets, as you can see in the top left there, you can see where it says FPS, X, and Y, and Z. You can see the different types of brackets you can have uh, going around the X, Y, and Z. So you can have colons and arrows and dashes and all the rest of it. Just set that how you like it. Okay, uh, number of precision we remain the same. Zoom factor, I'm not sure 100% what that is, so I turn that all the way up personally. It doesn't really seem to make a difference to me. Uh, personally, I don't like this thing telling me too much stuff, so everything you can see here that says on, I've turned it off, uh, because that's the way I like it. 
Uh, what you can also do here is you can set what colors you'd like the thing to be. So the prefix color you want as the main color you want to see, and then the main color you want to set as a secondary color. I've stuck with white, but you can have whatever you want. Uh, I see Tropico's gone for a green. And the bracket she's changed as well to go to a blue. I've got a black. So here you can click done. Okay, now we're actually going to go into customize display and have a look at the proper stuff. Now what I actually did is I removed all of this and started again. And the way you remove it is down at the bottom where it says add new module. You'll see a little minus arrow next to it. And you just click that repeatedly until all of them disappear. Because you don't want that many. So then what we'll do is we'll add a new module. Okay. And then we'll go into settings. And then we'll figure out what modules we want. So one module you probably want is some of your stats. So if we click on ID where it says new module, we can name it what we want. Personally, I've called this one stats. I don't know what Tropico is going to call it. She's going to call it stats for the sake of this video, I think. Uh, name, you can also name it stats. That really doesn't make a difference. Okay, so now we want to go into our items. <clears throat> and then we want to click add new item. And the first thing we're going to do is in general, we're going to go on the FPS. So there you can just click, yeah, make sure the FPS is selected, select done. Then we're going to add another new item. And we're going to select our CPS. Now, our CPS is our clicks per second. Uh, then we're going to go and add a third item. And we're going to add our coordinates to that. So find our coordinates and then click done. And we're going to add one more, which is our direction, which is just below the coordinates. And click done. Okay. So with our FPS, we want the precise FPS counter on. Now, if you go into where it says color default, what you can actually do there is change the colors so you can have everything looking different. I personally wouldn't bother with that. Uh, in the CPS counter, you want it. You want to click where it says show total clicks, and I have it for showing left clicks only. Because are you really bothered about your right click being seen as well? I don't think so. Uh, right, then we go into coordinates, and coordinate style below other is fine. Now with the directions, I have turned string and towards off. Because if you turn towards on, you will notice it says you're facing towards Z+. Plus. If you want to see that, that's fine, but this is just a video showing how I set it up. So now we've done that, we can click done. And we can click done again because I personally don't do anything much more with them for now. Next, we're going to create a new module and we're going to call this and we're going to go into settings. We're going to change the name and we're going to call this armor. And Tropico's gone with the British spelling, the correct one. <laughs> oh, okay, now she's gone with the wrong American spelling. Okay, now she's happy with it. <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to go into items and then we're going to go into add new item and we're going to go into equipment, which is one down below from general. And first thing we want is our main hand. This will be things like your sword or your snowballs or whatever it is you're using. So we'll click done on that. Then we're going to add a new item and all we're going to do is go for helmet, chest plate, leggings and boots. So helmet, boom, chest plate. Boom, leggings, boom, 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 boom. Add new item, boots, and done. Now, I don't bother showing arrows or any of that. You can if you want, I don't. Okay, and then in settings, the way I personally like it is I like show durability on, show attributes to be off, uh, and what that does is you saw in the bottom there was a little plus seven. That shows what it does. So I, I don't want to see that personally, so I have it off. Uh, and durability and percentage, I don't like the percentage. I prefer seeing the numbers. It's completely up to you with that one. So if you turn it off, you can see the numbers. If you see what percentages, you can see that. And I literally do that for helmet, chest plates, the lot. So it's on, off, off, on, off, off, on, off, off, and on, off, 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 off. And then we'll go with done and done. 
Okay, now we're going to add one more here. We're going to add a potion effect. So we're going to add another new module. I'm going to go settings. Call it in there. And I've just called it potions, but I don't know what Tropico is going to call it. She's going to call it potions. What a surprise. <laughs> uh, and then you'll go into items. And then we're going to go add new item. And then I believe it's in general for your potions. No, just general. Up oh, at the top. <laughs> yes, there we go. And you'll see potions there below entity count. So we're going to click done. And I don't think I did anything special for this. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, yes. Coloured potion durability. I did turn that on. Okay. So for that, we are done. So we can click done and done. And done. And done again. And done again. And then back to game. Now, you can only see one thing at the minute. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in creative. We're going to get a bit of armor out. And a couple and a weapon. And some potions. And then we're going to go from there. Yep, that's fine. Okay, so what we're going to do is Tropico is going to equip all her armor and the top shows you what's in your hand. So the first one is whatever you're holding in your hand. So if you switch to the sword, it moves to the sword. So there you can see your armor, uh, how you have it set up. And now if we add the potion effects, you can see that there it started adding up some of the potion effects. And... and that's nice. Right. But do you want them all there at the top? Personally, I have it in a bit of a different layout. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back into the 5 Zig mod by going Escape, Options, Mod, uh, and go into Customize Display again. And then you're going to go into Settings. So start with Potions. And then we're going to click where it says Location, Top Left. Okay, and this will show you where you want to put it. So what you can do is you can either have it in a completely custom spot, wherever you'd like it, so wherever, and done. And there you see the potions are now in the top right. And you can do this for any of them. You can put them wherever you want by clicking on location and moving it wherever you'd like. So Tropico is going to have her armor down there. And her stats there. I think that's how she's going to like it. She likes it. She's nodding her head. <laughs> I like how she's been quiet. Now, with mod scale, you can reduce the size. I personally put mine at 75%. I've got a bigger monitor than most people, so I don't know how small you want it. But you can go from... Uh, can we just show how small it can go? Literally, it can go to that, so you can barely see it. Or you can go all the way up and have it take up a good chunk of your screen. Some people like it, some people don't. I'm personally happy with my 75%. Tropico is going to go for a 60. She's got much better eyesight than me. But as you can see, that's how the 5 Zig mod works. That's pretty much what I do, guys. So there's a nice little setup video for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you want to know any more or ask any questions, let me know down in the comments. And um, I'll speak to you later, guys. Bye.